Which is the really I need. To another episode of Buddy the Bardo, the show where we bring you canine content on dog treats, toys, and trainer tips. So today I actually received a package in the post from our good friend Bob um, in Tampa, Florida. So thanks very much for sending this, mate. He sent us this note here. Hi Dale, hope Buddy enjoys his new toys. All the best to you, Anne and Buddy. So I don't know if you remember, but um, in our Star Wars video, I actually wanted to get a bunch of Star Wars toys for Buddy here for the review for May the 4th Be With You special. If you haven't seen it yet, do make sure you check it out. Oh. Zack George's dog training revolution. If this book does not help me to stop my dog from chewing the sofa, I will find Zack George and destroy him. So yeah, basically I wanted to get a bunch of toys from Petco. They only ship to the United States and Canada, as far as I'm aware, they don't ship to the UK yet. And they had a bunch of Star Wars toys. And now we got some of them here. So basically I've got six Star Wars toys to go through today. We're gonna do a review. We're gonna see how the fare up against Buddy. And then we're going to do a final verdict against them all to see which one comes out on top. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more. Check the YouTube channel. Look for Buddy the Borador. Okay, so six Star Wars toys in here. First one up, we have Han Solo and Carbonate. This is probably one of my favorite looking ones. The actual Han Solo comes... Oh, it's got a squeaker in it as well. That's awesome. Um, it's got a squeaker in it. Um, not sure how long that one's going to last. So that one's toy number one. Toy number two is BB-6, Unit 6. Yeah, BB Unit 6. Um, it's got a rope bottom on it as well. So I think that one will last a bit longer. Has it got a squeaker in as well? It does. Yeah, screen Chewbacca. Um, it's like a cute and cuddly version of him. And I'm sure if you bang it, it lights up as well. Yes, it does. That's pretty cool. There you go, mate. I'm going to chew on that one as well. <laughs> uh, we also got a Stormtrooper rope toy. Um, the feeling of that straight away looks like that one's probably going to get shredded. But the rope on it might last a bit longer. So we'll try that one. Okay, moving on. Uh, we've got Kylo Ren. That is awesome, that. I absolutely love that one. It looks great, but I have a feeling that is going to break fairly. Actually, I don't know. It feels quite sturdy, to be honest, so that one might actually last. We'll see. We'll see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And last but not least, we have a lightsaber. I think this lights up as well. <laughs> I think he likes that one the most so far. We'll definitely have some fun with that. So, I don't think he actually knows which one to play with. <laughs> right, I better take the labels off these quickly. What? Mate, you're dropping them all, man. <laughs> Okay, so out of all the toys, Buddy decided to try out the BB unit first. I actually had quite high hopes for this until... Um, is that fluff on your chin? Oh dear. Well, he's not had that probably, what, 20 minutes or so? And it's broken. I removed all the stuffing and actually discovered the bottom has a tennis ball in it, so it does get some points back here. That combined with the rope means that at least half of this toy can be put to good use. Mind shortly after this, he did tear a hole in that as well. Next up, Buddy decided to have a go of the green lightsaber. The lightsaber has a bump to light feature, which I thought was pretty awesome, but that just means that it sort of hits off stuff and it lights up like so. It's made primarily from rubber and rope and is great for any chewers. Mind, I was slightly worried at all of the little rubber bits coming off and where the rubber is the thinnest at the bottom, Buddy did seem to chew it off quite easily. So if you're going to grab this one i would sort of watch out for that um it's actually sort of lasted us pretty much the majority of the time mate i need you to review the toy um, not watch yourself on youtube so all right man okay for this one we're gonna take it outside with us and kick it around the field let's go Now, out of all the toys, I think we probably had the most fun with this one. Well, that was until the rope handle got dog poo on it. Mate, what is that on the handle? 
Not touching it. It's going in the bin. Don't put that in your mouth. Don't put that in your mouth. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. I don't even know what it is. Okay, we're going to attempt to sniff it. Are you serious? <laughs> False alarm. It's not dog poo. Oh, it appears there's a seal over there. <laughs> so, I would give the Stormtrooper head a really good rating. Um, I'm a little bit worried that this thing is going to break with excessive chewing. Um, because it feels very soft, but uh, the rope at the top is quite sturdy and thankfully that's not poo for one and number two, it's good as a football. So next we're onto the Han Solo toy, but where's Han Solo? He's here, and he's been decapitated. <laughs> ah, poor Solo, eh? He does not get it unlucky. Now, for the Han Solo toy, this actually comes as two parts. So you have the Han Solo little mini figure that has a squeaker inside of it. And you've also got the carbonate chamber, which has two squeakers in it. If all else fails, you can always use it as a makeshift slipper. Oh no, don't bite me feet! Don't try this at home. In conclusion, I'd probably say that these toys are more suited for smaller dogs. If you've got a dog like Buddy, a heavy chewer, heavy jaw dog, um, it's probably best that you don't get these toys because, let's be honest, they're just gonna rip in about two seconds. Like poor Mr. Solo here. Wimp, wimp, wimp. <laughs> The front section did sadly rip off shortly after this as well though. Next up we have Kylo Ren. The Kylo Ren plush toy comes with the tug of war arms and legs. Both stood a good test of time with Buddy, but I don't recommend that you let the dog pull on the key. This isn't even hard either. Oh! It did rip a little bit of the leg off, but out of all the toys, I'd probably say that the best in terms of build quality was the Kylo Ren one. Finally, we got the Chewbacca toy. Chewbacca impression. Let me know what you thought of that in the comment section. Again, this is fairly similar to the green lightsaber in terms of the rubber bits, but out of all the toys, this seems to be the one with the least amount of damage. Again, it has the same bump and light feature, and it's recommended for light to medium chewers, according to Petco's website. So that's a look at all the dog toys that we got from Petco. Thank you very much, Bob, again. Now, let's compare how they looked at the start, and now what they look like after 24 hours of total buddy carnage. If you want to grab any of the toys from today's episode, make sure you head over to the Petco website. I believe they're only shipping in USA and Canada though, so you need to check that one. But thank you very much for watching this episode, and we will see you on the next one. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where well, you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador. Dog training tips I know you can use, even sell dog toys and product reviews. Welcome to the channel where you know we keep it live. Buddy's here to make you smile, you just gotta subscribe for all your dog needs and they never skip a beat. Consider this a treat, this is really all you need. Hey, Buddy the Borador, uh, come on, Buddy the Borador. 